Hi, this is Mike Levine for Audio Fanzine, and I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Lursen Mastering Console from IK Multimedia. This is the main GUI. There's basically just one window. It has the, the top section here changes. It has several different views. That's the uh, mastering chain. That's sort of the uh, vanity view that shows you the a depiction of inside of Lursen. You load files over here. Just by clicking here, you can go add, slide away. Okay, and then if you press this button there, you get a waveform display, which can be zoomed in on and zoomed out of. And this is, of course, in the standalone version. The plug-in version of Lursen doesn't have any of the transport controls or the loading of files. You have a play button a return to the beginning button and a loop button. You can set a loop by moving these guys here. Set your section. Zoom in on it a little bit. And press the loop button and then when I play. It's just gonna loop and that can be helpful at times. Now. Let me stop it for a second. Basically, the way you get started in Lursen is by choosing a preset. This is the list of presets. There's a bunch in, of Americana presets. There's EDM presets, hip hop and pop rock. And then you can just adapt from there using whatever's closest to the musical style you are mastering. And so for this one, that's kind of a rock thing. I would say pop rock, let's say. If you look at the mastering chain, one thing you'll notice is depending on which preset you have set, it, it slightly changes the chain. Uh, in the pop and the Americana settings, you get this tube limiter in the middle. In the EDM settings, that goes away. And same with the hip hop. But if I were to switch it back to Americana, boom, you see that. And you see the way it flashed there? Whenever something changes, you get a little flash like that. So if I change presets, watch the EQ knobs. Those two flash because they changed for this preset. And now let's look at the EQ. I'm going to hit play. I'll take the loop off. So you have five bands of a fixed EQ, 60 hertz, 120, 3K, 6K, and 10K. And though it is somewhat limited for a mastering situation uh, in terms of the EQ options, these are all very useful frequencies that they have set up. Like, you can really affect the mix by adjusting them. You can also switch between the process view in the, e in the meters and the input. You see the difference there, pretty big. You can also bypass, that's without processing. That's with it. And then uh, we get to the one of the more interesting parts of this program, which is the push control. Now, if you take a look at the EQ knobs there, watch what happens when I move the push control. See them, they all move together in the same uh, relative amount. And the push gives you kind of an added emphasis. It, it, it Let's listen to it. I'm going to turn it back to 0%. Now I'm going to push it up. And it, it's great for adding a little to one part of a song, giving a little more energy to one part of a song at moderate settings, of course. And you can automate it. It's, it's again, only in the standalone version. In a DAW, you would uh, use the DAW's automation. But you can automate it. Let's say I click on right. whatever reason I wanted to bring it down there I could bring it up I'm exaggerating here just to show you and then if I click on this button I see my automation there and I can edit it there's a little pencil control lets me add breakpoints there's a range control and if I wanted to get rid of it I just select the range and now the automation is erased and I can start again. And you can also do the same thing for the input drive. If you switch here, you get the input drive automation if there was any, and here for the push control. You can save projects 
here and open them. And when you save a project, it will have all of its uh, audio files and settings. And you can load multiple songs at once and switch between them. You can turn on and off the HD engine, which gives you two times over sampling and better precision. So let's just listen to it a little bit on some different material. Here is a um, more of an EDM type of song. So I'm gonna, actually I have it on an EDM setting. Let's go to brighter. I'm gonna hit play and crank it up. Bypass, check it in mono. Add some push. Could EQ it if I want. Okay, let's just listen to a couple of other types. This music here is kind of a rock thing. And let's see what we can do with this. I'll put in one of the rock settings. Crank it up a little. Push up a little, maybe. Cut some bottom. Now let's bypass. Sounds pretty good. Maybe back off a little. So that's kind of cool. And now let's so let's try like something more acoustic-y. Uh, let's see what we got here. Americana loose setting to start. That's too much. If I wanted to, I could unlink them and Push one side more than the other. That sounds pretty good. Check mono. So there you go. Lots of lots of uh, things you can do with this. It's really easy, and you don't have to be a mastering whiz to use it. So that's Lurson Mastering Console. This is Mike Levine for Audio Fanzine. Thanks for watching.